Welcome back to the channel. So I don't know where I'm going with this video. It's just going to be a freestyle. Um, yeah, it's not financial advice. Do your own research. And the things I could say be wrong. This is an unedited video. And things I could say appear even stupid to myself watching it back. So anyway, Core Lithium. Prime example of a company to invest in. Reasons why. Not investing now, but investing back then. So they're near a capital city. They only had to spend $100 million a year. And they thought they'd make that back. Um, in about four years, but then they could make it back in like six months with a surge of lithium price. So why did it go from here to here? A few factors. So the low capex, so they spent $100 million. Some other companies had to spend $400 million to make the same amount of money, meaning dilution to the share price. So they didn't have to dilute very much, just $100 million. So they raised that pretty easy. Uh, factor two, lithium, they get it out of the ground for like $400. They thought they were going to sell it for $700, but now they can sell it for like two thousand to five thousand dollars quite easily so if you do the rough sums uh two thousand profit per ton times two hundred thousand tons per annum uh four hundred million and they could probably spend because they're in a capital city they can spend like not much money and double that and they probably would be able to do that soon given the um the demand for lithium is still there even though it's just been slowed down by rising interest rates etc so that's why they've gone from here to here because uh, a good project near a capital city and lithium price went nuts. So lithium is gone, like buy low is so high, lithium is pretty high now, it's come down a bit but still moderately high, could stay around that bit for longer, could be invested in here but I just like to buy ridiculously low, shares are risky so why not be greedy and buy low. So gra graphite now, this could be, graphite now could be here like the demand isn't there yet. We've got enough graphite to meet the demand. But they think around 2025, 2026, the graphite price, well, the supply is going to, um, the demand is going to aggro the supply, meaning the price should go up. It might not go as crazy as lithium, but it might do. So you got to be in it to win it. Um, so we could be like here. You just have to wait. Could be a long waiting game till that demand comes, and boom. So one thing is this company here, doing natural graphite, but not selling into the battery sector as yet. As they say, they can make more money in the expandable graphite market. So they're pretty good. If you watch my videos, that $70 million you pay for them now comes with a mine worth $50 million. And they say they can make, after everything's paid off, $25 million in the hand. Um, and guess what they can do with that $25 million? Uh, double, double the tons in the ground, and then they'll make 50 million a year after taxes. If everything goes well, risks are that they don't do what they say they're going to do, production slows down, etc. But that's later this year. They're building the mine right now, almost finished. So you might not have to wait three years for this company to like see some sort of return. Um, and there's another company, Natural Graphite. These guys are drill. They're only 26 million. Always check here for the real price. So I think around 30 million or something. Um, so the half price. But they haven't built a mine yet, so you don't get a mine with this one. You get a probable, they got a jork resource for a 10 year mine life, and they're drilling something now that will probably give them a 50 year mine life. And they've got another thing that will probably give them a 50 year mine life as well. They also have to do the metallurgy, which means confirming it gets into the battery. So they're doing that now. So a bit more risk, uh, but half the price, and could go well. They're in South Australia, they should have a low capex. So they're like CXO. Funny enough, CXO, where is this one? Look back at CXO in this year. Market cap was 32 million, 8 million. A lot like ITM now. Around 30 million with 8 million things. Um, near a capital C, good place. So we could, I'm saying we could, might not happen, might happen. This could be like buying CXO 2019. Um, So that's all I'll say. Remember, it's gone down today. It could go even lower. You don't know. But the demand for graphite is said to come around 2025, 2026. That's when the price will go up. And that's when people will be like screaming to get some shares because it goes up. And people like get scared now when it goes down. But you should be focusing on the business. Do the rough figures. So rough figures for ITM. If everything goes well, they could probably spend $200 million. They might get a free government grant like their neighbor RNU. So that's raised $200 million. And perhaps when the graphite 
boom kicks in, they can make that easily back in one year. That's, I'm not saying they will, I'm saying it's possible. Um, so that share price, if they can do that, the share price is going to be probably 5x or more. Um, so yes, not financial advice, do your own research, but possibly this company, if Graphite goes nuts, could be similar to CXO. I think CXO is a bit crazy, this might not get there. And there's a lot of other Graphite plays as well that could do well. But ITM I think has good capex, um, given SNEAR, infrastructure, etc. So yeah, pretty crappy video I've done, but just remember if you're down on shares, um, don't buy shares at a high price. Like I remember all, looking at all the graphite shares, um, thinking they were cheap here, and then they go down even more. So like they seem cheap to another company, but then all the companies go down. So you just never know. So if you want to be safe, you buy it just ridiculously low, and you can still get it wrong. But that's the game. So let me know in the comments below if you know any good shares. Just give me some rough figures. Um, like the last video, I said the best company I think is this one. It's been around 70 million. Um, comes with 45 million dollar mine already built. They say they can make like 50 million dollars a year, and then 25 million dollars after tax and costs in the hand. And guess what they can do with that money? Probably um, double the output, meaning they make 50 million dollars a year after cash and uh, after cost and tax but that's not a given there is risk behind that but if it happens it's gonna be a lot worth a bit more than it is now and yeah the good thing about this one you might not have to wait three years for the graphite boom they could be making money later this year and they could go down lower who knows if they go down here and you have bought in you you might get lucky and buy I don't know so buy low you don't have to buy these shares you can just wait years and years you can leave the share market alone for 10 years and say oh everything's ridiculously low now i'll buy in and make money sell out at a reasonable price come back another 10 years um yeah i'm just talking a lot of crap now but i'll leave the video at that thanks for watching like and subscribe and leave your best stock picks below with some numbers so i want to see like you can buy the whole company for 60 million have to spend 100 million then they can make this much per year um, for this many years and things like that etc and I'll leave that video with this thank you